So when you use a repeat block to loop your code, how does the computer know when it's repeated enough times? The repeat block is actually hiding a more sophisticated piece of code called a for loop, which counts from a starting value up to an ending value by a specific increment. So for example, a repeat three block counts from one to three by one, and every time it counts, it runs the code inside the loop. The for loop knows how many times it has run by using a counter variable that is set to the starting value at the beginning of the loop and has the increment added to it each time the loop is run. As soon as the counter variable is greater than the ending value, the loop stops running. So the benefit of using a real for loop instead of the repeat block is that you can actually see the counter variable and use it in your loop. So for example, if I have a series of flowers, and the first one has one nectar, the second one has two nectars, and the third one has three, I can use the for loop to tell the bee to collect counter nectars each time, which would collect one at the first flower, two at the second, and three at the third. Also, in a for loop, you can increment the counter by a number other than one each time. You can potentially count by twos, fours, or even amount that changes every time through.